Hi everyone, it's Christina, the Traveling Diva. It's the end of June and I just wanted to share with you what we've been doing for the last month here in the Republic of Georgia. We live in Shia Tora now. Uh, we've still been working on our apartment renovation on the hill. Beginning in June, we uh, took a trip to Tbilisi for our anniversary. So the following video is about the last month or so and what we've been up to. We just got to Tbilisi. We had kind of a treacherous journey here, I think. Riding in a cab here from Chiatora is like riding on a roller coaster. It's really kind of scary. They drive really fast, and I don't think there's any... This room at the Silver Boutique Hotel is about $28 a night, and that includes breakfast. Here's the... You can see the room, and then I'll show you the bathroom. It gets all messed up. Glad to be here, and uh, we just have to see what's open. We know the hair places are open because I have an appointment for my hair to be done and my eyebrows, but we don't know about stores or anything. And when we were let, let off at the Dubé uh, bus station, we didn't see any Marshuka buses, so I don't think they're running yet. We had to take a cab from there to the hotel. So we're here now, and uh, we'll probably go exploring and see what's open in a little bit. Maybe I really want to do a little shopping. Uh, well, we were just downtown, and unfortunately, we must have gotten some wrong information on the government web's website because um, all the stores that have street access were supposed to be open May 22nd, or uh, maybe it was May 25th, but at any rate, nothing is open. No restaurants, no boutiques. Interestingly enough, though, jewelry stores are open, and optical places are open, but nothing that sells clothes or shoes. I don't know. I understand the logic in that, but... <laughs> That's the way it is. So we're going to head down to the Dry Bridge uh, Antique Flea Market and see if there's anything going on there. Getting ready to go down into the lower half of this park. And when we were here before, that fountain wasn't working. They were still building it, actually. a dining room set that we're looking at. I think it's very pretty and it would be look very nice in our dining room. Not sure what this is. People are in there drinking beer. It's an old train car. It's Wednesday. We just arrived in the area of Sabertillo by cab. That was an interesting journey. First thing the cabbie did when we got in the vehicle was spray our hands with disinfectant. But we didn't wear masks, which is strange because everybody else requires masks. So I'm about to go into the salon um, to get my hair done. Soon. Good morning from Tbilisi. Um, we're about to have breakfast and then the shops are supposed to be open today so we're going to head over there. We've been here 
about a week today. And when we heard that the shops were going to be open, we decided to stay longer. I just bought a bunch of stuff at Mango. I wasn't allowed to try them on, but I'll take them back to the hotel, try them on, and hope everything fits. Otherwise, I can return it with a receipt. Now I'm trying on shoes at Aldo's, and you have to put a plastic bag over your foot before you can put the shoe on. <laughs> I guess it's the way it is. We're in the Bacha shoe store now, and they make you wear gloves in here. So you can't tie your shoes, but the good news is you don't have to wear a plastic bag on your feet in here. <laughs> uh, I can't because my thumb is sore. <laughs> well, I'll pull your thumb up, but I got plastic <laughs> hand. <laughs> I've got plastic hand too. They're cute. Yeah, they're pretty they're good. Okay. How do they feel? They feel comfy. Um, Good morning. It's Thursday morning and we are getting to, ready to leave Tbilisi after we have some breakfast. Um, we're going to stop at Domino's and get some supplies for our renovation and then we're going to head on back to Chiatora. Every morning about 11 a.m. they serve us a really delicious breakfast. It's kind of a nice routine. We are picking out a sander to do our windows. This reminds me of the old days when we lived in the States and we were, we'd go to Home Depot to get tools, except that it's a little more difficult here because everything's in Georgian. But there are many people here in the store that speak English, which is very helpful. Hi everyone, we're up at our apartment renovation on the hill and we're waiting for the Domino's truck to get here. No, I'm not talking about pizza. I'm talking about all our furnishings, our bathtub and our toilet and, well, electric line and studs for the walls. Well, the Domino's truck is here and we're just waiting for Dito. And the guy driving the truck, he doesn't seem to be in a big hurry to unload it. This is Rosie, our street dog that, we've, that we're going to adopt. She's a little nervous about this truck. These are all the metal studs for hanging the sheetrock in, in the apartment. Rosie's taken up her spot over here on her blanket. We found out that that house in the background there is not a sanatorium, but some men from the mining company came over one day and told us that uh, they had bought it for their uh, high-level executives to stay in. That's a lot of studs. Guess that must be the bathtub. <laughs> I would over here is to cover up the floors that have been opened up before we lay tile. The kitchen and the bathroom and the exercise room. We're up in our hilltop apartment. And we talked to Nino yesterday, that's our translator, and sh we asked her if there was anybody that did yard work here. And she said she thought somebody from the municipality could do it. So um, we didn't know that it was going to happen today. We came up here today, and they had they cut all the grass on both sides of our yard, and even um, part of the yard that isn't really ours. So we're really happy about that, but we we can't talk to them and ask them how much that we owe them, and we don't know what they're going to do with this big pile over here in the front yard. We're not sure if they're going to send a truck to pick this up, or if we're 
going to have to pay to have it hauled away. But they really did a great job cutting back the yard. We're really happy. So I think somebody is going to come and take the stuff away. We'll see. In the meantime, we got here and there was a note on our door <laughs> saying that it was against the law for us to put up a, a door in the back. We put up a little door to our utility shed. So once again, we're having issues with the upstairs neighbor, but we're not going to let this bother us. See you again soon. Well, it's Monday, everyone, June 15th. And the people that did the yard are back. This way we can pay them for their work and have them haul off everything that they cut down. <laughs> oh, there's Nino. And Nino's here. And she's brought somebody that's going to help us with a work on the house. Hi, everyone. Well, this is our apartment renovation. It's July 1st, and I want to wrap up this video by showing you around the apartment and what we've done. It doesn't look like we've done a lot, but the walls are all taken down and we are working on getting all the dust out of here. We're finishing the sanding on the windows and then most of the dust will be out and we can start putting up walls and, well, studs first and then electric line and plumbing lines and then the walls. So let me take you on a quick tour around the apartment. We are in the master bedroom. As you can see the walls, the there's just stone left on the walls. And the plaster is also off the ceilings. And we have three windows in our room. And currently, I have my treadmill set up. And these are the wood studs that will go on the ceiling to hang sheetrock. We'll be using metal studs to hang sheetrock on the walls. This is going to be the master bathroom. We cut this door in from the master bedroom. There was, there had been a door here previously and it was covered up, so we Put the doorway back in but we didn't have enough doors now that we've cut an extra door in so we'll use the doors from the wall that we took out so this is the master bath okay this is where the front door used to be as you can see there's stone over the doorway we will probably put trim around the windows we may do some wainscoting down below the windows I'm filming this on our Samsung Tab A. Um, I had been using a camera. I know I'm not very professional, but that's not why I'm doing this. I just really enjoy it, and I enjoy the blogging and the vlogging. I've met a lot of great people doing this, and to me that's what it's all about. I'm interested in connecting with people who are interest, interested in the same things and what we're doing. So we'll put plywood down. We have to leave these holes until we get all the plumbing done. Kay took out all this wood from the kitchen the other day. This is walking through the other way. There's Rosie. Um, this wall that you're looking at in the kitchen actually goes to another apartment. This wall, you can see there was another old fireplace there. That doorway goes back to where we'll be having another bathroom. Currently there's a toilet back there that we have to use for emergencies. We just run water through it. We don't want to take it out till our renovation is done. Um, the bathroom will actually be in front of that little room in the back. That little room in the back is where I told you we put a door and it's going to be a utility shed. Well, there will be a wall there where the toilet is and then in front of that where the hole is, that's going to be a bathroom. Uh, we'll be putting plywood down, but we haven't done a lot. Dito put the 
the back door on, the little door. It's not much to look at. It's nothing special, but we wanted an outside door for that utility shed. Okay, so I'm going to walk into what is the living room and dining room combined. Oh, before we go, I want to show you there will be a wall dividing this space right about here and this other space will be where I'm looking at now will be the fitness room and now I'm going to step over Rosie this is a wardrobe that was left in here and we're going to probably use it for our clothes when we first moved in because we won't have much furniture As you can see these are all the metal studs that will go on the walls before we hang the sheetrock. And there's actually holes in these studs where you run your plumbing lines. Tim and Kay are working in here. Um, Kay's been with us for a couple of weeks now and he's been a godsend. I'll have to talk loudly because Tim is running the sander. This is our machine, our fitness machine, crossover thing, I think it's called, crossover machine. This is where they took out the fireplace and where we'll be putting a gas fireplace there. I want a fireplace in our living room. This is actually the living room, dining room space. Now that we've taken the wall out, right there, we have five windows that go across on this wall. I'll walk over to the other side. Tim is working outside, sanding the outside windows. So there's a total of five windows in all in this living room, dining room space. These are all the doors that we've taken down. They will be all sanded and painted before they get rehung. There's some old scaffolding here that I told you about that we rented for 200 lari a month, which is kind of expensive, so that's why we bought the new scaffolding. Now we're gonna go to the foyer, the front of the house where our front door will be. As you can see, we've left one of the fireplaces and we do plan on using it. It's from the 1920s, probably Art Deco or Art Nouveau. This is the foyer. We are planning on putting a new front door in, but right now that's not on our priority list. I have been taking out flooring because this will be um, tile. Uh, it's kind of a long process. Painstakingly taking the wood out. I have this bag full and another bag full in the living room. So I'm saving, trying to save as much as I can. It's not easy. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video. Come back and see me and I'll show you more of our renovation. And visit me at travelingdiva.life.